The entrance to a hive is a vulnerable spot. We can help the bees by reducing the size of the entrance to help them guard against robbing bees and prevent mice getting in. When you're putting on metal mouse guards for wintertime protection against mice getting in, you don't want to trap a mouse in there. So make sure you do it when the bees are actively using their door. If it's all quiet and it's a cold day, there may already be a mouse in there. So do it when the bees are using their door and you'll know no mouse is there. This kind of mouse guard you can do two different ways. You could just put it down like this and then put tacks in, push pins. Or you could not use any push pins. And what you do is go like this, fold it lengthwise till it's a V shape. Press that into the door, and the tension of the V keeps it pressed in. Just like that. This is a different kind of metal mouse guard. It's adjustable in length. So this way, expand it to the right size and then just hold it in with some push pins. If you didn't want to buy one, you could certainly make them yourself. This is just a piece of flashing, uh, like roof flashing. And I have snipped it with tin snips in two places and then bend it up and that long doorway is just the height of a bee, three-eighths of an inch high, and mice can't go through. And the same way, put it on with the push pins. Just to be clear, folks, these are entrance reducers, which you use when you want to help a small colony defend its big, wide entrance. They are not mouse guards. And as you can see here, a mouse has chewed right through this one. It used to be that size and a mouse got in to this hive during the winter. It won't happen every time, but sometimes mice will do that. So for mouse guards, use something metallic. Thanks for visiting us and learning about mouse guards and entrance reducers. And if you have questions, call Better Bee or send your comments in down below. See you next time.